Almighty God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. I'm so thankful for this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify you, O righteous and heavenly Father. You are excellent in this place, and we adore your presence, O mighty God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. We magnify you, most holy God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.
the church of Jesus Mary Pentecost of our souls Sin and wrong will be defeated Sin is of the Lord will go She will march with glorious victory Over every land and sea Lifting higher blood stained banner Rolling and some Pentecost of every soul Praise the Lord, it fell on me. It's Pentecost of every soul Brother, let it fall on me. Pentecost of every soul Praise the Lord, it fell on me. When the church of Jesus died, Pentecost of our soul Sin and wrong will be defeated Sin is on the Lord of God She will march with glorious victory Over every land and sea Lifting higher blood stained by the Holiness of a Toby Pentecost of our soul Praise the Lord in melody Pentecost of our soul Church of Jesus, I will When she cuts the fire will fall Sin and wrong will be defeated Sinners of the Lord will fall She will pass the glorious victory Over every land and sea Lifting I am lost in my love Holiness of a trophy Oh, when the church of Jesus, I will When she cuts the fire will fall Sin and wrong will be defeated Sin that's on the Lord we go She will pass with glory as victory Over every light and sea Lips in higher blood stay by the holiness Hallelujah, plenty cast of fire
your child to pray. I don't hear you. I will pray. I don't hear you. Every, Every time, time I get the chance to pray, yes, yes, I will pray. Every time, every time I get the chance to praise Him, I Every time, every time I get the chance to praise Him, I will praise Him. Every time, every time, every time, every time, every day, every hour, every minute, every second, every chance, every month, every year, every day. you. God has covered you throughout the week. God has covered us throughout the week. We come to praise him. Praise him. You did a wonderful job my brother. A wonderful job. Come on, you're going to praise in the house. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands to heaven. I want you to lift your hands to heaven right now. Just lift your hands to heaven right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to heaven. Hold on. Just lift your hands to heaven. We're going to serenade the Lord, right? We're going to love him. Before I put on the preacher, we're going to love him. Hallelujah. Die in the glory. Come on, just love him. Come on, I want you to love him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory, revive us again, we praise thee, O oh God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus, he died and is now God above. Come on, church, love him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
die in the glory. Love him. Hallelujah. Echo shut up. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Shut up. Die in the glory. You know my shut up. Revive us. Again. Come on, the whole time church sing this song. All glory and praise to the God of all grace who has bought us and sought us and guided Echo Messiah. I feel the glory away. Come on, the whole time church. Hallelujah. By the glory, hallelujah, amen. Lift your hands, hallelujah, by the glory, revive us, revive us, revive us, revive us again. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody to say yes. Katamashanda. Somebody needs to say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart. The depth of my soul. Somebody say yes, Lord. Shanda Makasaya. Come to Yes, my soul says yes. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. I'd just like to take the time to just greet my bishop and my pastor and just everybody in the matchless name of Jesus. He is a good God to me. He is a good God. When I think of his benefits, amen, just to be standing here today, it's a miracle. And I just love the Lord for what he has done and he continues to do in my life. Amen. I, I, could you just turn your Bible? I'm not a preacher, but I just want to encourage your hearts from the word of the Lord just for a very short time. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Mark chapter 7. And we'll read from verse, could you just stand? From verse chapter 24. And I'll read. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into the house and would have no man know it. But he could not be hid. For a certain woman whom, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be fi filled, for it is not meet for to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, go thy way. The devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed. Amen. Praise God. You must be seated. Amen. So let me start by saying, if you have a need here today, it doesn't matter what it is, Jesus can meet your need. Amen. 
he will meet your need. Amen. The Bible is, talks to us about Jesus and he, the Bible says he went into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And it's about two times that he, he left Palestine, out of Palestine. This was one of those occasions. And he went to Tyre and Sidon. And there he met a lady, a Canaanite woman. Amen. Matthew called her a Canaanite. Mark called her a Syrophoenician woman. And the Bible tells us that she had a need. Praise God. Her, her daughter was sick. And no doubt she went and sought other ways of getting her daughter well. But there was no help for her. So she, when she heard of Jesus, that Jesus was in her country, she went and sought him. Because no doubt she heard of the miracles that Jesus did. And so when the Lord came to her coast, she sought the Savior. Praise God. And so there are some principles in this little parable that I'd just like to point out to us today. When she came to Jesus, praise God, the Bible said she came and she worshipped. She fell at his feet and worship the Savior. There is something to be said about worship. If we have a need, we should worship. If we desire something from the Lord, we should worship. This lady had a need. So she came and she fell at Jesus' feet and worshiped the Savior. The Bible tells us in the, in the book of Matthew that the disciples, when she saw her, amen, they turned and told the Lord to send her away. So, you know, she was, they thought that she, she was bothering the Lord. Amen. But she had a need that had to be filled. And so she persevered. She importuned. Amen. You, you, have you ever had a situation that you needed the Lord to, you know, solve for you? We have to. And sometimes we, we just go to the Lord maybe one time about the situation. But this lady, what she did was she persevered. She, imperc she importuned. Amen. Bless God. And there's something to be said about perseverance as well. Amen. If we can remember the four men that had a friend that was crippled. Amen. And they went to see Jesus for their situation. And they couldn't get in at the front door because it was blocked. So they went on the roof. And they let their friend down to the master so that he could be healed. They persevered. They pressed. Amen. So we have a situation that we need the Lord to satisfy for us. Let us persevere in prayer. Let us push in prayer. Yeah. Amen. The unjust judge, the lady that came to her, to him, praise God, about her problem to avenge her of her adversaries. And the unjust judge that feared not God nor man said, because of her perseverance, because this woman troubled her, troubled her, she had, he had to avenge, amen, her of her adversaries. So we should go ahead and trouble the Lord about whatever we have, whatever situation we have. Amen. And that's why the Lord, amen, told us of the parable. He wants us to come to him. He wants us to come to him because he is our father. He is our friend. 
He is our rock that we, he, we can depend on. Our refuge and strength in the time of trouble. So we should go to him. Amen. So the lady came and she worshipped God. Amen. Fell at his feet. Amen. And verse 27 tells us, but Jesus said unto her, the master, look at her and said, let the children first be fed. Because Jesus, he went there to, to be with his disciples, to teach them. Amen. But she came, she heard of Jesus and came. So Jesus was saying to her, I'm here to feed my disciples, not you, not you. Amen. Bless God. The Lord said, for it is not meat for to take the children's bread and give it to dogs. Amen. Many people would say, you know, turn their backs after they hear such a saying. You went for help. And the person said to you, hey, no, I can't do this. You know, it's, it's not about you right now. It's about somebody else. We would turn our back and walk away. But this lady, her need was so desperate. Amen. Her need was so desperate. That even in the face of an insult, as it would seem. Amen. She said in verse 28, and she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. Amen. This is another principle that is brought out in this. She had faith. She had faith. It, it took faith for someone to push you away. It took faith for someone to push you away and in the face of insult say, but yes, I know, but I have a need. And you can fill my need. And I need your help Lord Jesus amen and Jesus saw her faith amen verse 29 tells us and she said unto her for this saying go thy way the devil is gone out of thy daughter praise God and when she went home her, her daughter was made whole amen it took faith it took perseverance it took worship in order for her need to be met by the Lord. I want to encourage us today that we should go to the Lord in faith. Go to the Lord in worship. Go to the Lord non-stop. Praise God. Let him know what your need is. Because he is a God that loves us and loves his children. And he tells us, if we ask, it shall be given. If we knock, it shall be opened. If we seek him, then we shall find him. And I want to tell you today that he's a God to his word. The Bible tells us that he cannot lie. And if he lies, praise God, heaven and earth will pass away. Praise God. So we should trust the Lord. Amen. Trust his word. Bless God. You know, I, I just love the Lord, you know, and I just I try to take the Lord at his word. Because his word are so true. His words are life. And if we believe the word of the Lord, we will never go wrong. We will never go wrong. Praise God. Amen. You see, the Lord tells us, you know, that without a faith, it is impossible to please God. The very fact that we are here today, the very fact that we are saved, it took faith. It took faith. Praise God. And it takes faith to serve the Lord. Amen. This is a faith walk. Amen. It's not by sight or how you feel. But it's about your faith in the living God and the words of the living God. Amen. So praise God. Let us just... Let us just go to the Lord in faith. 
whatever your need is today. And you see, we, we all have our needs and we're all human. But the Lord is telling us to come to him. He cares for us. He cares for us. Amen. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. And when you go, go with a heart of worship. Knowing that when you ask, you receive. The scripture tells us that we receive not because we ask not. So let us ask the Lord. Let us importune. Let us persevere. Let us have faith in the word of the Lord. And whatever it is that we have, whatever the situation, whatever the condition, the Lord will meet your need when he sees your faith as he did with the woman that had this need. Amen. The Lord saw her faith. Praise God. And he met her need. Today the Lord will meet your need. If your faith is at the place. Amen. He's calling us to have faith in him. Amen. He's calling us. Amen. To trust him. Bless God. And he will direct our parts. Amen. Let us just cast our cares on him. Because he's a father that cares for us. Amen. There's nothing that, amen, that you have, that you're going through, that the Lord cannot handle, that he cannot deal with. And that he doesn't know because the Bible tells us that he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Amen. Bless God. So whatever your condition is, the Lord knows it already. He just want you to come to him in faith. Let us just trust the Lord in all that we do. Amen. Let us have faith in the Lord Jesus. And he will work on our behalf if our faith is at the place. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the you deserve for the blessing you have shown.